All right, so this is going to be a somewhat quick video where I show you how to accomplish um, creating left outer joins using VLDB settings in MicroStrategy. All right, so let's get started. So I have a report here. I'm going to run this, and it's a very simple report, and it's just going to have region, and I'm filtering for customer ID too. So we're just filtering for one customer, and I'm just going to show you the freight, right? So we're going to see how much freight this customer paid by region. Okay, so pretty simple. But suppose whether or not the customer ordered any freight in that region or had any freight charges in that region, we still want to see all the regions. So you'll notice this customer only has freight charges in central and web. Okay, but let's say we, regardless of whether or not the customer had freight charges in that region, we still want to see all the regions. Right? So let's quickly look at why that is not the case, and then I'll show you how to use VLDB settings to, to, to accomplish this. Okay, so let's take a look at the SQL. And what you'll see here, as we scroll down, the reason why we don't see all the regions here is because of these inner joins, right? So it's joining the order table to get the freight, and then it's joining the call center, right? That'll get it the customer. Well, actually, they can get that from the order fact. But and then it's inner joining here on region, right? So this inner join based on region ID, where you'll see it's joining call center to get the region, and then it's joining um, to the employee table. These inner joins are what's causing those records, those additional regions records in the lookup table, to get dropped. Okay. So now let's go ahead and let's take a look at VLDB settings, and let's see how we can accomplish this. And, it, and turn that inner join on region to a left outer join on the region lookup table. So we'll go into data, VLDB properties, and we'll come down to joins, and this preserve all lookup table elements, we'll click that. We'll uncheck use default, and then what we're going to do is we're going to do preserve the fourth option, preserve lookup table elements join to final pass result table based on template attributes with filter. Okay, so let's take a look at what this setting does. Let's save and close this. We'll save and close the report and then let's rerun our report. Okay, so now you can see the difference. Now, although that customer only has freight in central and web as we saw in the previous run, now we'll see we can see all the regions regardless. Okay, now let's take a look at the SQL and let's take a look at our outer join. As you can see, what it did is it did, it, it did an additional step where it loaded everything, um, the sum of freight by region for those regions into the fact table. Okay, it loaded this from the fact table, loaded this into a temporary table, and then down here, it then took that temporary table and did a left outer join to the region table. So what this means is it's taking all the regions and it's doing a left outer join on that fact table that contains um, the sum of freight, right? The total freight for that customer. But it's only doing a left outer join on that. So regardless of whether or not that region is found in this temporary table, it's going to be displayed on the report. It's going to take all the regions from this lookup table. Okay? So that is how it accomplishes that. Okay, now the next thing I want to show you is I want to show you the difference between those two options in VLDB settings, um, option three and option four. Um, in order to do that, what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a simple filter here on region. And I'm just going to select a few regions here. I'm going to select the two we know they're in, web and central. And then let's select um, northeast and northwest and mid-Atlantic. Okay, so now I've selected five regions. Okay, let's click OK. Let's click OK again. And now I want to show you, let's go back to VLDB settings. And let's just take a look at those options again. Now remember, the option we chose is this fourth option, preserve all, preserve lookup table elements joined to final pass result table based on template attributes with filter. Okay? Now the third option, the only difference is it's at the end it says without filter. We chose the one with filter. Okay? So let's go ahead and take a look at this report. Let's see the results. Okay, and now you can see that only our five regions are displayed. Again, whether or not they had freight, they're still displayed, but only the five are displayed. So as you can see, 
with when we chose the fourth VLDB option with filter, that means it also applied our region filter. And I'll show you where it applied that filter. We'll come down here. It applied our region filter to, again, when it's um, creating that temporary table, but it also applied it to that last query, okay, where it does the left outer join. Okay, this is the difference. Okay, this is the difference between those two options here. When we selected the option with filter, it will also apply that filter, our filter on region, to the query with the left outer join. So now let's go ahead and let's change that option to the one to the to the third option. Okay, where it says without filter. Save and close this. We'll save and close it. And then I'll rerun it just to make sure. Okay, we'll go view SQL. Let's scroll down. And now let's look at our left outer join query. You can see that filter is not applied. So now let's run this and let's look at the results. And there you have it. All regions are displayed here. So it did not apply our five regions, our region filter, to that last query with the left outer join. So that's the difference between those two VLDB settings. All right, so that'll do it. Please don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell. And also check out jamestechtips.com for more BI-related content. And thanks for watching.